Hey, Scott and Jeff here. Today we're going to be talking about how money is or is not connected to happiness. Stay with us. So today we're talking about needless spending and debt and as it relates to happiness and how those two rarely, are, if ever, jive. Yeah, are you saying debt can make me happy? I'm, no, I'm okay. saying quite the opposite Let's is make true. Make sure there. If you really want to be happy, stay out of debt. Yeah. You know, you want to go to bed each night with just a nice, clean conscience. You know, yeah. you're sleeping knowing full well that there's not all these interest-bearing accounts that are continually gouging money out of you. And so, to be happy, have a little bit of self-control, a little bit of restraint. We'll call this one save up or cinch up the purse strings. Which begs the question, why are we standing in front of a big, huge retail store that we have all set foot in? And we're not picking on this store. No, not specifically. No. But it does sort of bear the burden of being symbolic of our insatiable desire to have more and more and more, yep, yep. and the latest and greatest and all the newest versions of everything, the biggest, the strongest, the baddest, the loudest, we all got to have them. Yeah, yeah. Why? Why do we have to have them? Stop spending so much money, especially, and what would you think I would say here? Stop spending so much money, especially when you're at stores like this. <laughs> Especially money you don't have. Oh, man. Right? I'm telling you. That was plastic? One, uh, yeah. It's just, it's, speaking of plastic, there's good plastic and there's bad plastic. You know, what makes me happy is when I use good plastic, i.e. a gift card. I'm telling you, Scott, I, the only time I buy clothes is when I get a gift card to Walmart or to Brooks Brothers or something. Well, that does explain something. a lot, actually. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It does. That's actually Big not difference. a bad looking shirt. Well, thank you. Another good piece of plastic, probably, at least in my book, would be an ATM card or a bank card that actually represents real money. How you doing? Nice to see you. That actually represents real money. So this is money yeah. that's already in my bank account. I'm not just needlessly flashing all of these free credit cards that people are sending me. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. making sure that I spend money that I have. But wait, we're going to give you a 20% discount if you sign up for our in-store card. Pass. Pass. Thank you so much. Could you please give us your, Pass. your, your what is it, a zip code? P-A-S. Oh, I love that. Oh, God. Yeah. I, I just want to make a transaction here. Yeah. I don't want to join no. any clubs. No. You know what I mean? Well, we need your phone number, your address, your passport number, your blood type. Could we get a yeah. urine sample while Also, we're your umbilical cord would come in handy. I'm just here to buy some Rayovac AA batteries, yes. ma'am. Remember when Radio Shack used to give you free batteries? Oh, yeah. Battery card. Yeah. See, things were free back then. What has happened to our society? In this day and age, if you're still spending $100 or more a month on cable or satellite, what, where, are we not, do we understand technology and how it works? I mean, I don't want to slam the big telecommunications organizations that are out there that have satellite dishes on people's homes or big, the big cable companies. But the fact of the matter is, is you can get an antenna at Best Buy yeah. for $14.99 and hook it to your television yeah. and pick up for yeah. free. Yeah. How many stations do you get? Free HD stations. Uh, well, you got at least the major networks, right? But then you got Fox, which I would also call a major network these Absolutely, days. But yes. yeah, there's plenty. That you got the PBS. You got all of that stuff. You got MeTV. You got all the little yeah. local HD stations. Yeah. All completely free, right off the air. And then if you have to have your, your steady diet of filmed the latest and greatest Hollywood productions. You know, you've got Netflix, yeah. you've got Sling yeah. TV, which, which we have, which is like 25 bucks a month. So a fraction of what we would pay for cable, but we actually get the channels that we pretty much want. All yeah. I ever yeah. want are sports channels. And that's the thing that I love about this is because what makes me happy when I'm watching TV is I don't have to sit through the commercials. I get to pick and choose just like at the you know, Golden Corral Buffet. Oh, you're I talking, want that, yeah. I want this, you right. know. Right, without yeah. all the hassle. Oh. Netflix, Hulu, yeah. some of those still have commercials. But if you're yeah. willing to pay the subscription, then you give them without commercials, yeah, Sure, which is nice. And again, that's not spending too much money. No. You could probably uh, subscribe to Netflix and Hulu and Amazon Prime for still a fraction of the cost that Absolutely. you would spend on your big uh, DISH network yeah. or DirecTV. Package. You know, not to change the subject, but I'm going to anyway. Why don't you? Another thing that makes me really happy is that I don't have to deal with sneezy pollen in the air. <laughs> Here's what, here's what I totally love, and, and this might be for some people, Anna, I rarely carry cash. 
in my wallet. Yeah, I haven't carried cash. I, I mean, I might have a dollar, one dollar bill in my wallet right now, but that helps me just have more control and not feel like I've got to go and, oh yeah, I got a 20 or a 50 or a hundred bucks in my wallet. Keep the wallet empty. I think that how, make, makes me be happy, you know? It's, it's not that hard for some of us to keep our wallets yes. empty because even if we had cash in them, our children know where to find our wallet. Yes, yes. And sometimes our partners or spouses also do too. And then the cash disappears. Yeah. And you're yeah. left wondering, has, has, has there been grand larceny? Is there a crook? Is there a burglar on the premises? <laughs> I had $25 in my wallet and it's not there yes. every day. No. But you're right. Yeah. Don't carry too much money with you and certainly don't spend any more than you actually have. Yeah. Consider certain purchases. Now, our top three worst purchases we've ever made or things that people are buying that they probably shouldn't oh. and we will each share our top three let me pull out my list right. i haven't heard jeff's i think i got mine i'm just going to go ahead and tell you i'm going to make it okay, a, just uh, give me your, your third on okay the, the third mm -hmm. uh i invested in a ponzi scheme <laughs> Okay. This was in my younger days, you know, promises of, oh man, you're going to make a million dollars in 2.4 seconds, you know? What was the... It was the, just... What were uh, they selling or buying or it whatever? It was some little certificate that if you do this, then the next person is going to do that and you get all these people under you and it was just such... So you want to be happy? Maybe don't focus on sheer money. Yeah. It's just, there's, there's more to happiness. Get rich, quick scheme. Uh, yeah, Not just, a good way to go. Yeah. Number three but for yeah. me, uh, dumbest purchases out there right now, at least, and it probably not from a personal perspective, but what I see are all the smartphone upgrades and the new versions. I don't know, it's usually younger people who don't have a lot of uh, extra income that are basically saying the new eight, the new nine, the new 10 iPhone even released two new phones in the same yeah. marketing period. Like they had commercials for both the 8 and the 10 running at the same time. Unbelievable. One of my children wanted both of them because he must have the latest and greatest. Folks, if your smartphone is smart enough, it has all the bells and whistles it needs for now. And when it breaks, then go and get the latest and greatest phone, in my, in my opinion. Yeah. Number two yeah. for you. Number two for me was uh, I spent a nice tidy sum of money on a back treatment that was all hocus pocus. I mean, it was, let me go ahead and take this little, uh, little red light here. And if we expose your lerebral, whatever, your L5S1 <laughs> joint, uh, it should be feeling pretty good. And then we're gonna stretch you, you know, over a 30 period, 30 visits is what I'm talking about. Uh, it was, I, I could so go on So light on. therapy yeah. on your spine. Yeah, this this was, you know, and the more I studied about it, the more I found out about the doctor that was involved. And, you know, you see all these stories and uh, it was just so, so be careful out there when you're using your money towards getting well as far as your health and your physical body goes. Just do a lot of research, okay? Talk to a lot of people, network as much as you can before you just walk into an office and somebody says, hey, here you go. It's gonna make you feel great. Yeah, you, know? you wake up the next morning and you're not feeling any better and you're really low on money. Yeah. Happiness is difficult to attain. It just yeah. is. Money yeah. isn't the root of all happiness, yeah. but it certainly helps us find ways to be happy if we can keep it. Yeah. Uh, my, my number two is boats. I've never bought a boat. I don't have a boat and I don't, I don't, I don't mean to, 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 you know, to, rag on anybody that has a boat but just to me in my own mind that seems like a really stupid purchase but only because it's a lot of times it's people who i know are not paying cash look if you're a bajillionaire buy 15 boats what do i care but if you're buying big things like that big toys on credit and on loans there's certainly it has its moments it's great for the family you get out you have reunions but everyone i've ever talked to that's owned a boat has said it's way more trouble than it's yeah, worth yeah and the expense is insane and they end up trying to to share it with four or five different families where do we park it in the winter it's just a really really big possibly unnecessary purchase especially if you can rent one yeah. over the summer for just a couple of days for a couple hundred dollars rather than a couple hundred thousand. Absolutely. Number one for you, worst. Uh, Number one for me, thing. it had to be a timeshare. 
Oh my Boy, goodness. Well, you've really been a chump. Yeah, I know. This it's guy just, is you know, a sucker. You go, you go to, yeah. Victim. So you get the email, right? Hey, come down to Vegas for two free nights, and all you have to do is listen to a one and a half hour presentation. You know, present <laughs> day, yeah, that's free night, whatever. And you go, you know, and you sit there, and the You've guy walks there. you through yeah. it, and you sit down, and, and, and now, Luckily, I did not invest in this. Oh, you right? didn't? Because okay. I travel so much, doing seminars and teaching people how to train like a rock star, blah, 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 right? I'm, the last thing I want to do is go on vacation on my vacation. So it was really easy for me to say no to this guy. But so that I didn't have to pay for two nights hotel, I had to go through right. the presentation. Yeah, yeah. Be, but be, be careful of those. of those. Everywhere you go, every resort around the world, especially the all-inclusive resorts, their whole point is to try to do timeshares and to sell you on an yeah. actual unit. Ugh. And they always, eventually you end up feeling like a second-class citizen if you're just a guest who's there yeah. renting someone else's place but yeah. nonetheless very expensive and I've yet to talk to anyone who who is limited on funds <laughs> who has not regretted that decision those who have limitless empty your pockets the deep pockets rock and roll go crazy go because it. you're not get, you're gonna wake up happy the next morning it's not that big of a regret yeah. but for most normal people it's tough to be happy when you're carrying that kind of debt and looking for people to take your timeshare. Yeah. What's your number, number one? Number one for me are Mick Mansions. I just, you know, the, this trend <laughs> that we're in where not only does everybody have to have yeah. a brand new house, but everybody has to have one that's 7,000 square feet or more. Yeah. Nothing wrong with a big, beautiful, large and lovely home. If you've been blessed to have that, great. But only if you have 11 kids. Yeah. And even with those 11 kids, they grow up so fast that before you know it that empty nest mm -hmm. is 10 times emptier feeling than anyone else's yeah or your neighbor who's only living in 2200 square feet yeah trust me you don't need a lot of space it's a lot of place to clean it's a lot of upkeep and really the only thing you get out of it generally speaking is that initial sense of pride of going come look at my big beautiful new home Aww. or if it's on a tour of homes for yeah. a week, you get yeah. people walking through going, what a beautiful house you have. Yeah. And after that, I'm telling you, as beautiful as it may be, it's not going to bring you an awful lot of happiness. Yeah. yeah. My wife would kill me if we upgraded. She has told me time and time again, I don't want to upgrade. I'm happy with our house I that we have. Her. You she's know. German. Ach, she's she's efficient. Ach, she's fliegen. Frau Blucher. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. She's like, why would we need more space than we have? Nein. This is stupid. They understand happy. Yeah. Yeah, I know that sounds sort of counterintuitive to talk about Germans and happiness. <laughs> <laughs> but they probably are happy. But I can, because I'm married to one. So that gives me license. That's right. Okay. You want to be happy? Square up, yeah, baby. Nice. Pay off your accounts, save up your money, and cinch up those purse strings. Well, what are some stupid things that you've bought? We'd like to hear. In fact, if we hear about enough of them, we'll add them to a, a, an upcoming episode. So let us know. Like, subscribe, share. 